Hello everyone. In today's video, we will be seeing how to make a crystallographic data from a SIF file for a MOF. So by the end of this video, I will make sure that you, you are able to create such a beautiful pictures of your MOF or the crystal files which is available in the literature to represent in your presentation or in your paper. So to do this, there are just two important things is needed. One is the Mercury software. The second thing is the SIF file. So these are the two important things. The first step, I'll tell you how to download the Mercury software. And Mercury is a software where it is a freeware, which means it is available for free. And it is developed by Cambridge Crystallographic Data Center, which is in short called as CCDC. So this is originally designed to view crystal structures and visualization tools. There are other visualization tools also, but this is officially from the crystallographic data center. So this has a lot of information or it is very easy to use and please do not download any other version of the software from the other site for example there are other sites this is the official site where ccdc is the official site and you have a lot of other different websites like mercurysoftware.ie or people have put a lot of videos also as well as this software like none of these are original only from the ccdc is original so from this when you click this I will tell you the easiest way to download it. There are a lot of ways like uh, you can go to download free Mercury. It will direct it will direct you to a different page. Also, we can go to research and softwares or resource and support everywhere you will find it. So the easiest shortcut way is to go down till the bottom and on the bottom you will see download CCDC CSD data and software. So you click this you will land up in this page where you have downloads. So this download page gives you in detail of all the softwares which are available from the Mercury. So now what you do, you go here and then say direct and click on direct download. When you click this, there is a link opening. So you go down, go down and you will find Mercury. So we missed it. No, MOFCCDC. MOE and then yes here so mercury so when you click this you will have three versions of downloading one is windows second is linux as well as mac os so it depends on which operating system you use so you click on the respective one it is a direct installation if anyone feels any difficulty in ins installation please drop a your questions in the comment box i will solve it so when you download it, it it there is an installation file downloading it so you run that file it is very easy and very direct so and second thing is needed is to we need to understand uh, how to download a shift file so the example i'm going to take is mal88b so mal88b is a mof which is called as metal organic frameworks so this is synthesized by this is synthesized by iron chloride and 4 comma 1 comma 4 benzene dicarboxylic acid otherwise called as terephthalic acid so if you take if you take iron chloride and then uh, benzene dicarboxylic acid there are different conditions where it is used for the synthesis so you will end up in something called as mal88b so to understand the structure of mal88b i will show you that so mal88b has got a different structure where you could see that the iron or the metal center is linked to three other uh, the metal center is linked to three other carboxylic acid yes here so you see this is one carboxylic acid this is a nitro uh, nh2 substituted benzene dicarboxylic acid so there is a oxygen in the center which bridges three metal centers and then you have one carboxylic acid, second carboxylic acid, and third carboxylic acid. So this is one single unit of an MAL88B structure where you have got a mu3 oxygen. This mu3 oxygen is called as two electron three center bond. There are just two electrons in the oxygen. We all know oxygen is bidentate or it can form only two bonds. But in this, you see a beautiful structure that oxygen has got a triple bond, which means it is a two cent two two electron three centered bond. Second thing is this iron forms a 
iron actually has a six coordinated iron so i will show you it is in the crystal structure when uh, when we do it so this is in six coordinated iron molecule there are six there are three six coordinated iron molecules and each is each is connected to three different units of benzene dicarboxylic acid so this is the basic structure of the mil88b so for every mop every mop has such a basic structure so now we will go on searching how to find the sif file so you type the name of the mop and then just type dot cif and then click enter so the first thing comes as crystallography.net the second thing is nanocrystallography.net i would advise you to use only these two things or the official reported paper so if in the paper if they have some crystal data is available you download that or go to this if you if it is submitted in the crystal paper it will come here or you can also go to ccdc database and then find it out so either use this one crystallography.net or nanocrystallography.org or you can go to ccdc database and then download it so when you enter this you tend to have a, a list of information so the card entry for mal 88 b is the card entry is that what is the number of the crystal structure which was deposited and each crystal structure deposited has got its unique number so this is called as card number for the crystal database so this is an open database where anyone can download it so this is the first version or the compiled version you can go down you can see that a lot of references coming out like when it was revised what was the revised date so initially it was reported in 2009 and there were some changes made into the sif file some changes made in 2012 some changes made in 2014 and it the final structure was arrived at 2018 for example if someone reports a file initially it is a new file so the first the first it was uh, published in 2007 so there was a sif file available and whenever there is an more accurate data coming out they update it so this updated whole file is available in this and all the sif file is has the same number and you can see the general information are available here one is the formula second is the calculated formula and this is where it was originally published the first published and these are the authors published and this is the public publication unit or the journal or, or this was the year of publication and these are the cell values abc values and alpha beta gamma values so and what is the cell volume and uh, what is the space group so everything is inside this so you can also download this shift file and open it in the text form and then you will find it in the for example this is downloaded here so it is called 7100693 so it has been downloaded to this one if i'm going to click here and then i just give i give open as a text file when i give open as a text file you can see all the information that we saw was available so open with So choose an application we can also open with mercury also we can open with that it has a text file so or a notepad file that's what so this also has a lot of information you could see when it was published it was published in chemical ca communications and this is the DOI number 2009 and what is the formula and everything goes down and these are the coordinates of the crystal structure so if you are doing in the computational chemistry these coordinates should be very very important to you and uh, even if you are doing some theoretical studies these coordinates are very important and we can close it now we can go here and then open it with mercury i'm going to give open with mercury so it has detected the file and it is opening with mercury so I have downloaded this free software and then installed it and I'm saying please do not get this software from a third party or do not download it from the any other source because this will harm your computer if there is a virus infected all your data are become lost or you get a ransomware where your data are lost it is very very difficult for you to recover and uh, as a researcher or as a PhD student you would always be having a very very important data in your computer where it cannot be repeated or years of work I have seen few people how they have struggled by installing 
third party application so try to get a licensed version or a free version or if you do not have at least approach them every software has got student versions available for your benefit so you can do that or you can buy a trial version where you can use it for two three months plot everything and then do it it is not opening i'll click it one more time i think we don't open it here yes it is opening now so this is the updated version if you have an old version of mercury it will look like red color suppose if you are having that please go and upload or uh, download it from the official site because mercury is a free software please know that and please inform your friends also it is not a crack version so anybody can download mercury for free and there are a lot of features available in the mercury which ha which is used by crystallographers those who do research in crystallography so for that you need to purchase something so that is the upgraded version the for the free version it has got a lot of features in the free version which you can use it very easily so sorry my computer is a bit slow it's kind of four or five years old computer so now we have our system open from the mercury so when you first open it every time it will show up a pop-up window this copy of mercury is out of date if you wanted to upgrade it you can upgrade it or you can just say okay so only when you click okay your data will load so now our data is loaded and this is our single cell which means like this is the single unit of the cell so as i said before you could see this is the mu3 oxygen where the one oxygen is connected to three other metal center so how will we know this is a metal center what you can do you can go here and say label atom when you just click label atom it will label the atom so now we can know the orange colors are iron and the red colors are oxygen and then what you have we have the carbonous gray color so these are the three types of atoms which is available in this so now i'll just click remove hydrogen and then label atoms are removed so now we can see that for example i said that iron is six coordinated you could see now let's take this iron so where you have this is one and there are four equilateral atoms so this is like four square so we have four corners of the square and this is bipyramidal so this can be called as octahed octahedral or it can be also called as square bipyramidal depending on the terminology you can use so where four are in the equatorial position two are in the axial position and these four is like square shape so these are every ins for example this is the first ion and uh, this is the second ion this is also four coordinated and this is sorry six coordinated and this is also six coordinated and you could see that this is the benzene dicarboxylic acid uh, this is benzene dicarboxylic acid i think this is naphthalene dicarboxylic acid okay so i think the crystal structure we downloaded was a different one but still i will tell you this is because it is a naphthalene dicarboxylic acid so this is mal88d i do not know i think we should download the right version but still okay we'll have this so now we could see that now when you go to you just click a which means you are going to view the crystallography along the a so this is the along a direction which is x direction so along b which is the default direction which we have set it so you can also set the default direction of what you want so i'm going to give c so c is this where this is the actual porous so there are this three accessible pores in mal88b which is this one this one and this one and these are some solvent molecules so we can you can also animate and see how does it do it so i can click rotation so it just animates you can record it as a video or save it as a zip file for your presentation you can also give oscillation so this gives an oscillation so how long how big your amplitude should be 
or how fast it should be it is slow and this is fast so you want it along y axis or x axis or z axis that you can decide on so the amplitude can be less and the rate is less so you can play around this you can have fun so this is like rotation just slow down the rate so you would see it and you can put it along x axis y axis and z axis to have a better understanding of the structure you can rotate it and see how does it rotating so this is the first option and here you can go to wire and frame so it will show it as a wire and frame structure or you can go to a capped structure or you can go to ball and stick which is the usual structure which we saw also you can go to space filling because it will show you the electron density and where the electron density is less and more something like that and you can go ellipsoidal so this will also give you an ellipsoidal structure so it depends on you can give polyhedra where the metals are in the polyhedra the others are so this was a type of view which we saw it in the reported structure so in the polyhedra if you wanted to see the atom so i'll stop the animations i'll put it on c or i'll put it on minus c okay then uh, we will have it now for now is ball and stick model so now what i'm going to do i'm going to zoom a little and clean up the structure so you know like you see this is an solvent molecule and uh, it has been residuing there so in the crystal structure i'm going to click this one it becomes an yellow now you do a right click and then say delete this molecule so this molecule is deleted so now we have one more atom so this you see you rotate around and see what are the free flowing atoms which is not connected to the central atoms and then remove those so we have one more atom here i'm going to delete this we have one more atom here i'm going to delete this yes beautiful so now we have a single unit where all the atoms are connected even if you wanted to delete some other atoms or if you delete this if you select this every atom is connected which means the whole atom will be removed which i'm going to select and then see delete molecule the whole atom is removed so you can just press ctrl plus z everything is restored so now if you wanted to remove one single atom you right click and then show hide atoms when you do that okay there was something happening wrong I'm going to press Ctrl Z. Yes, what happened? Okay, I have the other way to do it. So now go to display and then go to more information and then go to atom list. So when you go to atom list, there will be the list of atoms displayed in your molecule. So this list will help you to understand the bond distance. For example, you want to know what is the bond distance between this first atom, this is iron and this is the oxygen, this is mu oxygen. So you can click this, now you could see when I selected here, the there is a rows are selected. So the second atom is this, first atom is this and these are the parameters which it, which it has got. You can go to bond, so when you go to bond, you will know the bond length because I have selected here I'll know the bond length of each atoms so you can have a lot of distance between them similarly you will get what is the planes available symmetries available everything is here so what are the you could see what is the space group and what are the different kinds of space group or the rotations are possible and then the list of planes so whatever you have it in the crystal structure you will have the data here so these are also data which is available which was available as a text file so now you go to list of atoms and uh, let's say i wanted to hide this one single atom this one single carbon atom i deselect this and just come here now you see only this is selected so the whole structure has got 73 atoms and then i'm just going to click right click and hide atom this is hidden now i have selected this 
So I have to unselect this row. Yes, now we have selected this. You can also select the other one. And now you, the hide atom will not work if you have selected two atoms. So they both disappears. So now hide, hide atom also works when you have two selected two atoms. So similarly, you can clean up. You cannot if you, if you wanted to clean up few atoms. So but now I do not want to clean up those. I'll just keep this. I'm pressing Control Z. Yes. So these are the other data is available. So now we have one single unit where everything is connected. I'm going to zoom out a little and now you can see it. So now what I'm going to do is how to extend this structure. There are different ways to extend the structure. One, you can just click on packing and it will show you a packing. So there is a box which has come. You can just click this show cell access. It will remove it. Now click this one. I have got the packing, but the packing is not as clean as, as I expected because the packing is auto generated. So it has included all the free molecules which we had it earlier. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the packing. So I'll go back to the square one where the all other atoms are there. Select this atom, delete this. So this is kind of a cleaning the structure up. There are this delete molecule, this delete molecule so why there are solvent molecules and why you should delete on these are a very big discussion to go on why mil88b has a charged molecule and how this mu3 oxygen is stable and why do you need an uh, solvent molecule the solvent molecule required is basically for the stability of the structure because of this mu3 the ion gets a positive charge so if there are ion, each ion contributes one negative charge, but there is only one oxygen to take it. So a single unit is a positively charged single unit, which requires a solvent molecule or a negatively charged anion to compensate the charge to in order to keep the structure stability. Sorry. Mm, if you have too much of details, just you can ignore it. Now what you have to go to, you have to go to hydrogen bonds, you said define. And then there will be a lot of hydrogen bonds showing around here. So these are the possible nearest hydrogen bonds. Yes. So now you see a lot of red marks have shown. And these are the possible nearest hydrogen bond. When I click it, it goes it disappear. When I click, it appears. So now what I wanted is you should know that the other red color atoms are hydrogen bonds. And so this is my unit structure where this is my mu3 oxygen. So so this is my mu3 oxygen and there are three other ion centers to in order to extend it in one direction what i'm going to do i'm just going to select one of the hydrogen atoms one of the hydrogen bonds let's say this and click once only once please do not do double click so there is an external extended link which is generating from this yes now if i remove hydrogen atoms i could see there are one more length generated for example it was like this so now you can keep on clicking on each of the the direction in which you wanted to extend so it will auto generate only those molecules which are attached to those hydrogen atoms yes now we, there are some where where you get lot of extension yes so clicking on the carbon atom gets me a lot of extension so it looks clumsy or it doesn't look neat but it would look good at the end when you created it so I'm zooming out there is a void here I'm going to double click it here yes I got this void fill there is a void here I'm going to double click it here there is a void filled there is a void here I'm going to double click it let's say like uh, here i'm going to double click it so all these things are learned by hard way from me like i took years to learn it and i did a lot of reading help from others and to do this so the main aim of this video is to make people life easy when you do morph research and when you especially do not have anyone to help you out 
so yes you see this so now it looks really clumsy so just try to do it slowly and play around like it is not so big so whenever you have a free time you play around download some molecules or if you have your own crystal structure you can do it and it is not only to mof you can do with any other crystal structure also similar way if they are connected or extended if it is a polymer or if it is an extended structure it will go like this so i do this i think we are done okay i'll just fill this void alone go on double clicking this yes it looks really crowded i'm just going to remove the hydrogen atoms when i remove the hydrogen atoms oh still it is on ah my cpu is overloaded <laughs> this happens when we use the high end softwares all your cpus consumed sometimes like my software crashes so i have to do all the things again so it also helps you sometimes when you do it again to learn better to do it better yes i clicked it somewhere so it is opening yes there is only one void i will fill it up yes well remove the hydrogen atoms uncheck it yes so now even now this is the whole build atom previously we just had one single unit you could see where the atoms are selected one single unit we have and now you see a beautiful structure see see so these are some very beautiful structures which you can see it so if you can have a structure like this and then i am going to rotate it to rotate it little by little so you should know this is x axis and this is y axis and to rotate over it is z axis for example you see this is z axis i'm just going to give y okay y goes this way and x plus x plus x yes i think this is so this is one direction where your morph looks clean and interesting so when you extend it in different directions like you would know it so there is a first first structure second structure and then there is a first strand second strand it is also going diagonally and this and these are connected by the your in this case it is naphthalene dicarboxylic acid so you can also zoom in you can also zoom out so this is our whole molecule zoom in and then you can give c direction so this is how it looks oh i messed it so i'm going to rotate it that wise yes so this is how it looks oh my god i'm going to yes i'm going to move the molecule towards the center so now you could see these are the pores so to highlight the metal center pores what i'm going to do i'm just going to make it a polyhedra structure now this is beautiful you just see the polyhedra so you can say that this is how it goes inside so so this is one round so when you build a large number of rounds this would be so obviously interesting to see that how beautiful these are so when i zoom out it was similar to that of the previous structures where we had i don't know let me put ah here we go to 
to put ML 88B FE. So, so these are the structures. So these are these were the structures which I was talking about earlier. So when you look it carefully and then do it, you can end up in a proper structure. Also, to have this, you can change the color. You can go to this polyhedra, right click, and then uh, colors. So this is customized carbon color. Go to displays, style, display options. Yes. So what is the background you want? What is the labeling you want? So all these things can be done. I forgot where the polyhedras would be. So manage styles. Uh, there will be somewhere where you can increase the transparency of the polyhedra. Where? Yes. And uh, color by elements, bonds, panels. Let's see, like no. Some operations, manage styles. No, this is different. Yes. I think like you can check around like you can find the beautiful structure of this. So when you go along A, this is the structure where you can zoom out or you can also rotate and see how good it is. Yes, I hope you like it. So So this is the that one when you look along this is along a when you look along b it is like this a is like this b is like this c is like this so in the c's the pores are visible so now i click here and then hide atoms i can remove like this so you can clean around the atoms and then have a good picture on it so when you do finish done you have to go and give save us so when you have to save us you can save it on the appropriate format in which you like it you can save it as jpe or you can save it as png or some other file model in which you wanted it and one personal advice is when you are saving it as an image please save it as jpg so jpg has good clarity the reasonable clarity and then low image size when you save it as png your file size keep increasing for example you are writing a manuscript on placing 10 images 10 5 6 crystal images so your file size will become extraordinarily high so this will help this will be a very big headache when you have to transfer file between some place to the other it takes a lot of time or you'll have to use a drive to transfer it because your emails will not have such an capacity to transfer one single large file so a better advice is to download it as jpg so it, it is up to you you can use your custom formats to download it there is one important thing you can also calculate the what you call as uh, the powder pattern of this one so you have to go to calculate select powder pattern and then in the powder pattern what you have to do you have to give customize when you click customize you have to say what is the theta i needed let's say i wanted it from 5 to 80 and i give and what is the scan rate which in which you want this powder xr to be performed let's say like i wanted to be in 0.5 and then what is the wavelength in which you measured it there are different wavelengths we can measure it one is from cup copper k alpha which is 1.5 so and just click apply you see this is the pattern when the so this is for 5 degree to 80 degree and then this candidate is 0.5 i can also make it to 5 degree to 50 degree and then apply so this is the powder pattern 
so when i have to give 1.1 as a scan rate i would get a very 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 beautiful peaks so you can also extend it like this this is the theoretical calculations based on the x crystallography value so crystallography is a kind of a 3d xrd so you measure you scatter x-ray and then measure it in the three dimensional and then plot the electron density you would have the crystal structure so from this you can also convert it into a 2d xrd where only planes are seen so this is the crystal structure of this so you have to include hydrogens or remove hydrogen is up to you so when you are please be clear to give what is the wavelength in which you wanted you have measured the xrd and and what is the scale you wanted and what is the scan rate you performed so you see that the by changing the scan rate the xrd changes drastically so this is what i have also previously said please be aware of what scan rate you should give for your xrd because if you see a paper in which the peaks are different they know it is very rarely that they given scan rate so that is why you have to perform in a very different scan rates and then see that it is good for example if i have done it at a very fast scan rate of let's say like 0.1 instead of 0 0.01 i have done it as so this is for 0.1 instead of 0.01 i have if i have do it for 0.1 the peaks looks completely different you see this is a very short peak and this is the ratio of these peaks are very very different if i am going to give 0.01 the ratios are very different you see this peak has come up very high the first one which is around i think so when you keep here you show here you could see what is the 2 theta value so when i when i keep on the peak it is 7.2 so watch this peak in 7.2 when i just change the scan rate to 0 0.01 okay this is 0 0.01 and this is 0 0.1 you see when i give it 0 0.1 it is much shorter so these and these are almost comparative it is double the size but when i'm going to give it on 0 point so this is double the size and these are all three four times higher when i'm going to do it in a slow scan and you see this is almost half of it and this is triple the size now this has come down so the patterns can change the position remains same but the intensity of the things can change suppose if you do it in a very very fast scan like 0.5 it completely changes you see now this peak is very small these two peaks are very high the third peak is the highest intensity peak so that is why in xrd you cannot reset to zoom you cannot depend on the standard xrd unless otherwise you know what is the scan rate they have given because scan rate can influence your xrd to a very very high extent i think i have covered a lot so you can go on playing with this around so you can build your beautiful structure to publish it. Thank you for listening. I hope this is very useful.